seen us fit a cab carpet set to a VWT5 and a VWT3. I'm Lee, this is Coombe Valley Campers, and today we are fitting this gorgeous grey cab carpet set to the VWT4. What you see before me then is the entire kit for a VWT4 and it includes these felt pieces for the wheel arch and these under felt pieces for the entire cab floor so that this carpet set fits fully but we'll get into that later. The kit we've gone for today is the grey but the carpet is available, let me get this right, in black, grey, red, blue, green and biscuit colours but you have to specify the order when you get them and you buy this carpet from Heritage Park Centre. I want to say thank you to Heritage Park Centre for supplying us with this carpet today and for working with us on other projects we've got going on as well. This kit then is pretty awesome. You've got the um, foot pads for both the passenger and the driver which works quite well I think. You could cover it up with um, a rubber cab mat or a secondary cab mat in the future but I think this works just fine. Um, so yes it comes, the actual carpet set itself comes in two pieces, uh, sorry three pieces. We've got the two wheel arch pieces and then the main cab carpet itself and then the under felt kit has five pieces entirely. Now with this van, this is the van we're going to fit it in now, you may have seen this uh, in previous videos, and we had the option of the blue. And this is the blue here we've got. And we did consider it, and it was quite, quite the decision to make. However, because the carpeting and all the woodwork in the vehicle is grey, um, and the front seats of the van are blue, we thought the grey carpet in this case was the best thing to use. But what are you going to need today? Let's go through the tools. The tools you're going to need to fit the carpet today are as follows. You are going to need some high temperature spray adhesive, a knife with some fresh blades, a roller to get the carpet and the underlay in all the edges, maybe a trim tool as well to assist you in the same thing, and a sharpie to mark out any holes or cuts that you may need to make. So before we fit the carpet, we are going to have to remove everything inside and we're going to start that with the double seat base. As you can see, they've been beautifully trimmed and the only thing letting it down is the rubber cab mat, which is why we're changing it today. Once we've removed that seat, we can go ahead and remove the spinning seat base. Again, only held on by five bolts. And that will then give us access to the handbrake cover and the gear lever gator. Once they're popped out of the way, we can go ahead and remove the driver's seat base. Once the seats are removed, we can remove the cab steps, and then we can remove the actual cab mat itself. There's a couple of little plastic covers you've got to unwind in the top corners, and you've also got to remove the two screws that are holding the bonnet release catch. Just double check, everything is out of the way, such as wires, Everything's unthreaded, you're not going to catch anything as you pull it out, and then you can go ahead and actually pull the cab mat out. Once the rubber floor is removed, I'd say now is a perfect time to insulate the floor or sound deaden the floor, and also tidy up any issues that you might have. If there's rust, you can clear that up and paint it, or even have some welding done. And if you've got any wiring kicking around, now's a good time to sort that. As you can see, we've got extra wiring looms here because the customer wanted some extra heated seats in their van. So this is what all this wiring is associated with. But apart from that, we're now ready to move on to the next stage. The first two pieces to get installed are these two dodgy eyebrow looking pieces. They are designed to fit over the wheel arch here and that is going to help the carpet shape around that wheel arch so there's a line you can see just here and I'm going to align the bottom of this piece up with that and all we're going to do is spray this high temperature adhesive contact spray hang on high temperature spray glue and it's a contact adhesive which means you've got to spray both sides so I'm going to be spraying up here and on this piece, and once the glue has tacked off, stick the two together. All right, simple as that. Make sure you wear your PPE, this is nasty. Thank you. 
Super. Now, whilst I'm staying, whilst I'm staying over this side, we're going to attach the two felts. Now, these are sided. And if I just take a look and figure it out, yeah, here we go. Right, so you know which side's which because you've got this cutout, and this cutout is designed to fit around the uh, bonnet release catch. So what we're looking at doing is matching up this line here with the line around the wheel arch. And this curve here is gonna sit on top of this. We're hoping to attach this felt on top to the sides and then here, and that's where your uh, roller tool or your uh, trim tool, prodding tool, is gonna help out here. So once again, we'll do a mock-up first, see that we're happy with the shape. There we go. So what I am actually gonna do, because that catch, I'm gonna just trim this area of carpet. Sorry, that area of felt, because that needs to go in there. So I'm gonna just trim that down real quick, and then we'll lay this on and glue it down. Really happy with how that side went in. Now we're gonna go over to the driver's side or the off side and yeah, basically do exactly the same. Uh, hints and tips from doing that first side, treat it like you're carpeting the van. You've seen our carpeting videos before, so you've got to almost push and pull the carpet so you're trying to alleviate all the wrinkles. Um, yeah, but, but with a little time and patience, it should come out pretty good. It's the curves that are the difficult thing. Once you've got those two wheel arches cracked, then I think the rest is gonna be fairly easy, to be honest. As a quick hint, if you get any glue over spray on anything, you can use a brake cleaner and a microfiber towel. Just wipe straight off. Whilst we're up on this side of the van, there is the little point just here, and that's where your, if I can find it, the little plastic cap screws onto, and that keeps your carpet in place. So before you glue that down all the way home, just give yourself a reference point, make the incision, get that. So when it comes to putting your carpet on, you've still got something to attach it to and do the same with the other side as well. Before I lay this under felt in, I just wanted to double check that everything lines up and it's, I guess it's not really necessary because they've been kind enough to mark the holes in, but because it's only got the holes in for a walkthrough vehicle with single seats, I just want to make sure we can add the extra one, two holes for the double seat. So I'm gonna make sure, I'm just gonna peel this off the edge a little bit. Make sure all the holes are lined up nicely. And then I'm gonna get underneath. Just gonna mark one. And mark two. I'm gonna grab my blade. And this is a fresh, sharp blade, so it should have no problems going through. There we go, there's one. Excellent. There is another hole about here because we've got the wiring loom for the heated seats just coming through. So I'm gonna do, that's the hole there. I didn't make that hole by the way. A bit rough, isn't it? But I didn't make it, so. I'm gonna make it round. Oh, 
That's about it there. It's not the best, is it? But it's good. We shall uh, go and get that fitted in. Right, so straight over the gear lever first, then the handbrake, they're the two biggest things. Then we can go ahead with kind of lining it up for the rest of the floor. Um, if at this stage you've got any wiring that needs to come through, like this for example, that's electric heated seats. That can come through now, make sure your wiring's in a place that you're happy with. Yep, happy with that. And the same goes for this side. We've got some aftermarket heated seats that we fitted to this van. If you want to see a video of how to fit aftermarket heated seats, do let me know. So in fact, yeah, this one's going through here. And there we go. Right, so what you're looking for then when it comes to fitting this carpet is that there's a clean line round this wheel arch. Now, we haven't overlapped, actually. And when I say you've got to get a clean line, if this wheel arch felt piece was to come out to say here, in that sort of line, you'd have to trim this carpet back the same so they butted up against each other nicely, not overlapped, otherwise that'll affect the way your carpet looks when it's down. But as you can see, we've made a fairly nice job of making that right there it all lines up here but if there's anywhere i'm going to cut actually it's going to be a little slither so the whole carpet can move that way a touch let's see how the rest of it fits and make any adjustments if we need to there's a few key areas you're going to have to check this gear lever gator these parts here push over the exposed studs and if you have a look they're quite close to the edge. So what I'm gonna do is just remove a bit of material from around there. So that piece will fit over there nicely and I'll do the same for all four. You've got to check around the handbrake. Now that pin, and there's a pin back here, that helps the plastic trim clip on. I would like to see that trimmed away there a bit further, so I'm gonna trim that. There you go, in fact, I'll go to here. And then what I might do, so that all lays flat completely, I think I'm just gonna do that. Now this is me doing it, This you don't have to do this. It's just, this is the way I'd like to see this fit around here. So when it comes to it, it's all level. When it comes to laying the top layer of carpet, sorry, it's all level. And there we go. So that's the full handbrake lever area cut out. Um, I am going to remove just a slither around here. Just so there's a bit of adjustment. And that fits around that without wrinkling. A lot happier with that. And I think there's a bit just on the driver's side here, just a tiny bit there where we've overlapped. So I'm gonna just slice that off. And that's that. Everywhere else I'm happy with, all of the holes lined up. There's a touch here that I might trim back, but let's see how the carpet lays on top. Once you're happy with the fit, oh, I've got those two to do. Once you are entirely happy, the next stage is just to glue down this back edge, and it's only the back edge, and that's just to stop it lifting, all right? There's nothing else we have to glue. So if you have a look, all of our studs are lined up nicely. I'm just gonna spray a bit of adhesive along the back, both sides, and then that can stick fast down there. Well, 
Once you're all happy with the underlay or the felt that's all in the right position and glued down along that back edge, we can move on to the wheel arches. And it happens in exactly the same way as the under felt as we did before, but this is a little bit tougher to deal with. Um, it's a bit thicker, it doesn't manipulate as well, so take your time, have a bit of patience with it, um, but it is all cut to fit. And in a similar sort of sense, we've got this line to follow on this arch here. So if you see that there, that line follows nicely the line of the wheel arch um, and it tucks under the carpet. So that's what you're after. It's gonna take a bit of messing, but by the time you're done, it should be completely worth it. So enjoy watching this because uh, it's gonna take a little while, but again, the results are gonna be worth it. Mask up. Let's get the glue on. Same detail this side, however, we have got the bonnet release catch to consider, and that fits in this square. There's the two holes down in this wall where these two holes fit in and obviously that bracket bracket fits in that carpet space nicely so we've got to be very conscious of that when we fit in this carpet but effectively it's the same drill just on the passenger side this time so let's get on with it What do you reckon? They look quite nice, don't they? Looking forward to putting the main carpet in, and that's what I'm just about to do. But first, just before you do, make sure you've got all your cables through, you're happy with how everything sits, and also, if you need to make any extra holes in your carpet, you do that. I've just done that off screen, happy with how it's come out. I use the same method as I did when I was cutting out the extra holes here, so no big deal. Um, in fact, if you ask them, it'll come pre-cut for the holes. Let's get on with it, wait there. There we have it, ready to go. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say there's no particular way to get that in, but definitely start going over the gear lever first, it's the highest point. And follow on with the gear lever, uh, handbrake, and just carry on. Now you're all happy with the fit and finish, go ahead and put down your gear lever gator, your handbrake um, lever cover, and the last bit to glue is this strip across the back, and that's purely just to stop it lifting. The seat, once it's bolted down, will stop it lifting, but I'm just gonna apply a little bit of glue on the back there, and that'll make sure that doesn't move. Once you've done that, put your steps in, Put your covers on, put your trim back in, sit back and admire your work. And there we have it, the full T4 cab carpet set as sold by Heritage Park Centre. 
It's actually made by Newton Commercial and I know for a fact they've spent a lot of time developing this and it's just a wonderful addition to the cab. You know, gone are the days of those horrible black rubber mats that you can now completely get rid of and replace with this carpet set. We know it's not the cheapest, but it's certainly the best way to completely refresh your cabin. If you'd like to buy this kit, have a look down in the description and you can click on the link down there. And if you'd like to support us, please have a look also down in the description where you'll find a link to our website. Thank you very much everybody and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Mm.